a little hard to get a workout on these days with gyms closed, people finding uh, it hard to get motivated. You, my friend, though, are going to be introducing a virtual reality workout, and you've donned the gear today to show us. What's going on there? I'm not just swatting flies. I know it looks like that right now, but I'm working out in virtual reality, wow. Thor. Thor, I've got to say, I'm going to take this off for a second okay. here. Virtual reality is really, really taking off with self-isolation. People are looking at ways to kind of escape the issues that we're dealing with and the stress, and VR is one of the ways. And part of the reason is these things have become so affordable right now. This is the Oculus Quest, mm -hmm. and I want to show you right now, look, completely wireless, number one. You don't need a high-powered computer next to it, and these are now cheap than a smartphone so more and more people getting into VR gaming and I want to start with something that's pretty cool I saw a trend online about VR fitness virtual okay. reality fitness and I want to try it out to see can you really get a good workout in virtual reality boy did I find out okay take a look at the video here this is an, a program called supernatural okay so you have two virtual bats in your hands and these orbs come flying towards you with arrows on them. You have to hit the orbs in the direction of the arrows. Not only that, Thor, you also these triangles come towards you and you have to squat and do squats so you can actually fit through the triangles. Okay. This also pairs up with your Apple Watch. And I don't know if I really want to admit this on TV, but um, my heart rate got up to 185 by doing this workout. Wow. It is intense. And yeah, you can get an extremely good workout. And I've got to say, my, my glutes, they're pretty sore right now. I have problems going upstairs from doing this workout. So <laughs> okay, it does we, work. Why don't you get into, us, uh, get into a little bit about uh, what else people can do in terms of uh, like families and games and things like that? Okay, so the exact opposite of fitness now is uh, coloring. Have you heard about virtual VR coloring? No. Okay, so imagine this. You put on the, the, the headset, the helmet, and you are immersed in a 3D coloring book. Everywhere you look is a blank palette. You have a pound of paint in one hand. You have a pointer in the other one. You click on the color you want to color, and then you just point it around to the atmosphere around you, the environment, and it comes to life as you start filling it in. I kind of rolled my eyes when I heard about this. and went, really? Really? Like coloring. And then I tried it, and I'm still coloring to this day. I love it. My kids like it. I like it. I'm finding myself coloring a lot more than maybe uh, some of the fitness apps now. <laughs> <laughs> and there's all kinds of games that uh, families can do as well in the virtual reality world. Yeah, you know, a lot of people think that VR, only the person wearing the VR headset can actually take part in these games. That's not the case. That's why I want to bring up this third use for virtual reality, and that's playing games together as a family. This was actually created, this game. It's called Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. Now, it was created by Canadians. Two Canadians co-founded this game, and the person wearing the VR headset can see a bomb in front of them. The people in the room that don't have the VR headset on, they have access to a manual that you print online. So the two groups have to work together to defuse the bomb in whether it's three minutes or five minutes. I've been playing this with my family over the last couple days. The game's actually a couple years old, but it's just a prime example of ways you can still incorporate other people and have fun, especially if you're spending time with your family because you gotta work together on this. It's a lot harder than it sounds. It's very clever, and it gets the adrenaline going because the, the bomb is ticking. Hmm. And, you know, if somebody's having issues explaining what wire to cut, it can get pretty funny at times. So, but it, it's an absolute blast. And what, again, but as we close it out, how much are these things retailing for, roughly, these virtual reality headsets? You know what? That's the thing. They used to cost well over a thousand, sometimes two thousand dollars, because you also needed a high-end PC to actually run these. But you know, Oculus Quest that I have right here, this one retails for about five hundred Canadian. And we think about it, smartphones now are going for fifteen hundred dollars. Uh, so they've come way down, and you don't need that high-end computer. And I think that's the reason why it's really starting to take off. It's just giving some people another option uh, when we're stuck at home these days. All right, a lot of innovative uses there. Thanks for much, uh, so much for uh, sharing with them today, Mike. We'll talk to you soon. We'll let you get back to your back workout. To the workout.